Hey everyone, welcome to the show. So testimony has ended. The closing arguments have now been made in Rudy Giuliani's defamation trial that was brought by Georgia election workers Ruby Freeman and Shea Moss. The trial should have lasted at least another day, but America's defendant backed out at the last minute. Giuliani opted not to testify, as he had promised. I just want to know what happened, Rudy. I mean, I thought he was going to bring it. I thought he was going to expose the truth and hit him with some surprise evidence about election fraud. (laughs) Every time, every single time, Trump's coup clowns all claim, I'm going to release the Kraken. I'm going to bring the evidence as soon as I get my chance in court. Yet not a single one has presented a shred of evidence. Hey, MAGA. That's called a clue. (laughs) Anyway, here's what Ruby Freeman told the jury when she testified on Wednesday. Um, This was the final or second to the last testimony, as I understand it. As with her daughter, Shea Moss, Freeman's life was completely turned upside down. She cried when she was sharing the details of all the racist and violent threats made against her. Um, Trump's terrorists found her home as well. They were banging on her door. They paraded outside. They were yelling through bullhorns. And she was forced to flee her home because the FBI warned her she wasn't safe because her name was found on a, quote, death list of a Trump supporter. Now, they're most likely referring to Oath Keepers member Thomas Caldwell. He had a list that said death list and her name was on there. He tried to pretend that it well, it wasn't what it meant. And I was just scribbling and, you know, the two things weren't connected. Anyway, Freeman at the trial said, quote, I took it as though they were going to hang me with their ropes on my street. I was scared. I didn't know if they were coming to kill me. Then she also told the jury, quote, I felt horrible. I felt I was terrorized. I was scared. The phone just kept ringing and ringing. And, quote, my life is just messed up. It's really messed up all because somebody put me on blast. Just tweet my name out to their millions of followers. So eventually, Freeman had to sell her home. She had to live out of her car for a period of time because she said her friends were too afraid to take her in. She also lost her source of income because her online business was just barraged with threats and harassing messages. And then she had to change the name of her business. It was a traveling fashion boutique. And Freeman said that she was afraid to travel to shows to try to promote her products because of all of this. So another person who testified was Northwestern University professor Ashley Humphreys. Um, She said she's an expert witness. She was for the plaintiffs. She said that Giuliani's defamatory statements were viewed up to 56 million times by election denying Trump supporters. And she estimated that it could cost as much as $47 million to repair the reputation of Freeman and Moss. And what's really interesting is Giuliani's attorney is clearly not happy with him. And he doesn't seem to buy this whole stolen election BS. When he cross-examined Humphreys, he questioned how they would go about repairing Moss and Freeman's reputation. And he asked, quote, Is the whole goal of this case to forcibly convert election deniers? Why are we going to waste our time with flat earth people? (laughs) Now, unfortunately, he he still seems to have a soft spot for Giuliani, or he's just doing his job. Um, In his closing remarks, his attorney tried to sell the idea that he's a, quote, good man. And his attorney said that racist and violent rhetoric doesn't, quote, naturally flow from Giuliani. Giuliani's attorney actually had the nerve to tell the jury, quote, the idea of him being a racist or him encouraging racist activity, that's really a low blow. That's not who he is. Really? Is this guy not aware of Giuliani's past, of stop and frisk? I mean, if you wanna go all the way back to that, Also, we know it's a bunch of BS because there's leaked audio recordings from his former assistant who is suing him for sexual assault and harassment. 
He made vile, racist, and anti-Semitic statements in those recordings shared by Noel Dumphy. And since when is Giuliani not violent? When did, since when does he not spew out violent rhetoric? This is the guy who stood on a stage on January 6th and called for trial by combat. Remember that? Anyway, Freeman and Moss's attorney also gave a powerful closing statement. They said that Giuliani didn't see these women as human beings. And then they asked the jurors to send a message to other powerful people with their verdict about the compensatory and punitive damages. They said, you know, you want to deter others and show them there will be consequences. So as Judge Howell was sending the jurors off to deliberate, she reminded them that she's already found him liable for defamation. So their only job is to quantify the harm that he caused. So that's where it stands. The jury is deliberating or they were deliberating. I would imagine with Christmas coming up, they're going to want to get to getting <laughs> and get this whole thing squared away as quickly as possible. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we had a, a dollar figure by tomorrow. So I'll keep you posted. I'll let you know. Thank you all so much for watching and listening. Please like this video, share it, become a subscriber if you have not, become a donor if you possibly can. Love you all. Take care. Talk with you soon.